My name is Aman Grang and I'm a reporter at Refugee Sport Network. And today it is my pleasure having you with us. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself to our audience that are watching us? Yeah, my name is Marwan Jaldao. I'm a refugee and a basketballer here in Hong Kong. Okay, Marwan, uh, we've seen like game just ended. Is Was it a practice or a match? Uh, it's a match. It haven't ended yet, but uh, it's third quarter, you can see. Hmm. So we only left, maybe we have left with one quarter, the last two quarter. So it's a match day. It's a match between Zone 5 guys and the, the guys from Hong Kong here. Yeah, it's a match day. Okay, and you're, you're, not, you're not playing today? Uh, me not playing, uh, it doesn't show that I'm not a player, but this game is meant for juniors, as you can see. Uh, they are not that uh, of my size, not, not, but, no, not my size, but they are not of my height, as you can see, but they are juniors, upcoming players, so this game is meant for them. Yeah, hell you on, I've seen you shooting and it was like, da, in, da, in. And that was uh, interesting to see. Um, I would like to ask you a question. What does a basketball mean to you? Uh, basketball means a lot to me. I can say that uh, because I can remember when back when I was in high school, I did my high school uh, uh, from Lodwa Boys and it was through scholarship, basketball scholarship. So I can say basketball really benefit me and I'm one of beneficiaries who benefited from basketball. So it means a lot to me and it has kept me in a line, in a channel where that uh, I'm so pure, like I don't do drugs because I know doing drugs like basketball keep me busy. It take me away from the street and bring me here. So I can say basketball has done a lot for me. Well, uh, thank you so much. And uh, it's interesting to know that uh, basketball is providing the opportunities and scholarship programs uh, to a refugee in Kakuma. And take it back to your playing days and now as you continue playing basketball, have you ever won maybe a trophy as a basketballer in Kakuma playing with Hong Kong Lions? Yeah, we won like the last, the, the last uh, tournament we won it and it was really great. Uh, I played. I remember it was last year, August. Uh, it was held by LWF and there's some other organization. So I can really say that thank you. Thank you so much those who have put hands together to support basketball in refugee camp. You know, refugee, uh, it's a harsh, uh, it's a harsh uh, see, area and situations where refugees have been kept, but we have tried so hard uh, to keep basketball growing in here in, in refugee camp, as you can see, people are playing. So we are the defending champion and we keep uh, motivating our players to keep training and to keep that title. So uh, we are entitled to be champions here in Kakuma refugee camp. Well, uh, that is interesting and it is terrific. And now, um, with you being a beneficiary of a basketball as a, as a sport, have you ever had a platform where you can reach many refugees, not only in Kakuma, but in the other refugee camps? I've never found that, uh, that chance, but I'm not saying that if I had that chance, I would never take it. I know I will take it, and I would really love to, to talk and to say things to upcoming players and to advise them and give them tips on how this thing is being played. And if I have that chance, I will really take it. I will really take it. Well, thank you to our audience in, in Kakuma and in the other refugee camp. We will be having a video with Maroon sharing with you some tips on the basketball. And now, taking, taking back to the game, what advice do you have for the refugees that are playing basketball, especially the young players that are still playing in Kakuma and in the other refugee camps? Uh, as we all know, we don't have facilities at uh, our disposal. Mm -hmm. Like we like, we lack balls. We lack even shoes of playing. You know, the the court is so rough. Yeah, but I, what I can tell them is that uh, have a strong heart and practice hard, grind. And this situation is only for some time. You know, every story have a a, a hard beginning and a tough beginning. So I, what I can say is that the situation is temporary. Keep practicing, and things will be okay. Yeah.
Well, thank you so much, Marwan. It is my pleasure to having you with us today. And thank you to our audience that have been watching us. Uh, you will be getting the tips from the expert in the camp and his Marwan. Thank you so much.